In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through our pediatrics h &P notebook. And so this can really be used in any pediatric setting depending on what you're looking for. And so it's gonna look fairly similar to some of our other h &P notebooks, but I wanna point out a few key differences in terms of what you may be asking that are a little bit different that you wouldn't typically be asking or typically be reporting um, every single time in these patients. So your name, uh, the, all the chief complaint, your past medical history, family history, social history, allergies, allergies, meds, physical exam, and assessment plan, those are all going to be fairly typical in terms of what you're going to be asking that you would ask for any patient. The difference is, you know, you're going to have a section for immunization is one thing, and the main thing is going to be some of the review of system questions and some of these birth history questions or pediatric questions that you're going to be asking that you wouldn't typically be asking. Things like, you know, any type of pregnancy complications, certain types of prenatal care that they either did or did not receive, any type of complications in terms of their birth, whether or not they were either a vaginal delivery or a C-section delivery. You're going to have sections for the blood type of the patient, their APGAR initially, uh, how long their hospital stay may be, any type of what they're currently being fed on, either breast milk or formula. And obviously, this will be catered depending on the age of the patient. You're not going to ask an eight-year-old these same questions as you would maybe a eight-month-year-old. Okay, and then you're going to have things like their bowel movements, their frequency or quality, because as you know, for the, these babies, especially early on, these are very important in terms of figuring out um, the health of them. Any type of urinary frequency and some of the developmental milestones that they may have accomplished, either in their motor in their gross or fine motor, their language, cognitive, or social. So it, you'll see that a lot of these questions that you're going to be asking, we have them here kind of just as a general sense from, you know, any type of pediatric age patient, but you wouldn't be asking every single one of these questions, but they'll kind of give you a guide in terms of reminding yourself, these are the questions that I should be asking. You know, some of the questions I'll be asking from the zero to one year old age, and some of these questions are going to be asking more in the, you know, one and beyond age. And you can kind of just get a feel for those, but they're really just reminders for you as you're going through your typical h &P, what are some additional questions that you may want to ask? And you kind of just read them and then kind of mentally in your head, okay, I'll ask this question in addition, I'll write that down so that maybe I may or may not present this in the actual presentation that I'm giving. But if the attending wants to know, I'll have, oh yeah, I actually did ask that question. Let me reference that. And so those are just kind of quick reminders that you can use uh, throughout your interview. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our medical ID cards, scrub notes, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.